Your incision does not require much care once you leave the hospital. If you have a small amount of drainage, then you can change your dressing daily until it stops. Once the drainage stops, then whether or not you cover the incision with the dressing is up to you. Do not put antibiotic ointment on the incision. It is normal for the area around the operative site to fluctuate in redness and warmth for several months, so don't be concerned. Swelling around the skin staples sometimes causes one edge of your incision to raise above the other, which causes the formation of a slight amount of drainage. Both the unevenness in the incision and the slight amount of drainage resolve with time, so there is no reason for concern. Your staples will be removed between 10 to 14 days after surgery by either the home health nurse or the outpatient therapist according to your doctor's instructions. If drainage soaks your dressing to the point that it needs to be changed more than twice a day, then you should let your surgeon know. Another reason to call your surgeon is if you develop a fever greater than 101 degrees after returning home. Your surgeon will prescribe you pain pills to take at home. Be sure that you take your medication before your physical therapy session so you can exercise and before you go to bed so you can sleep. Keep a couple of pain pills and a glass of water next to your bed that you can easily reach if you wake up feeling sore in the middle of the night. You may feel constipated from taking pain pills. You should consider using over-the-counter remedies such as Metamucil and stool softeners. If you develop diarrhea, then you should call your family physician. Let them know that you recently had antibiotics for your joint replacement surgery and that you need to have a stool culture to evaluate the cause of your diarrhea. Walking, resuming activities, and taking medication are the best ways to avoid blood clots. Depending on your health and surgeon's preference, you may be asked to take either aspirin, Coumadin, or Lovenox to thin your blood. You should continue taking the blood thinning medication prescribed at the hospital after you go home. Be sure that you use the right dose and take it for as long as you are directed. Let your surgeon know if you have a sudden increase in leg swelling that does not decrease with elevation. Be sure to discuss showering and bathing with your surgeon. Most surgeons agree that you shouldn't soak your incision in a bath with staples in the incision. Do not use lotions, powders, or oils on your incision until the staples are removed and the incision is dry. You can resume activities based on how you feel. As you gain confidence walking, you can then discard the walker and cane. And as you gain strength, you can build more endurance by making short, frequent walks. The message is, don't be afraid to use your new joint. Expect the joint to become sore and swollen as you push yourself. When it does, simply take a rest, ice and elevate until you feel better. It is much less frustrating if you mark your progress by comparing the change in your activities on a week-to-week -week basis rather than on a day-to-day -day basis. There will be a day when you don't feel like doing much, and when it happens, just push yourself a little bit less. Each week, you should be moving the joint more, walking further, and resuming more activities than the week before. Eventually, you can expect to resume such activities as golfing, cycling, hiking, doubles tennis, and gardening. Impact activities, such as running and jumping, are discouraged. Whenever you increase your activity, you should expect some discomfort in your new joint. The discomfort will subside a couple of months after you maintain a consistent activity level. Your joint replacement is designed to last 20 plus years depending on how you take care of it. Your joint replacement will last longer if your body weight is more normal and your activity level is reasonable. We want to thank you once again for choosing a Mercy Sacramento Hospital for your upcoming joint replacement surgery. We hope that you will feel at home during your stay and it is our commitment to provide you with the most innovative and compassionate surgical care available today.